go up to somebody in a tournament and they show you, they shuffle in such a way that they show you the bottom cards of the deck yeah. and you're just like, well, free information, I guess. I don't feel bad about it because, I mean, I kind of feel bad, but they showed me. I didn't like, actively look yeah. for it. Oh, you were just checking to see which way it goes? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to draw that card anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, I checked the very bottom card. Don't, don't see the, do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Not the bottom card. You can check the top card since you're about to draw it. But then it doesn't matter. Like this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think okay. Oh, is Same rules as modern infect if you don't have a creature mulligan. Oh, by the way, before we do this... Yeah, there's an infect counter. But, oh. Alright, I would have elected to be on the play. Right. And yeah, as a general rule... Yeah, it's not... You don't have to have a creature right that second. You can have like a crop rotation or some brainstorms and probes or something, but you need to find one soon. Like like with Delver, oh, no. they don't have to open with a creature. If I pull a creature, it's game. Like, instantly. But if I don't, then I lose. Instantly. I think I have to mulligan this. There, n there are no creatures except Dry Arbor, so... I had double invigorate become immense, chop pile in hand. Berserk? Berserk, so I was like... And I had the days for the force. Oh, and then days, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I was like... With no draw, I would mulligan yeah. that too. Um, are we doing a free, or are we doing the down care. to six and the scry? I'm down to seven. I think it's better for the Unless camera you. if we, if both of us are mulliganing just to go back to seven, because it makes us more likely to have a real game. Uh, but that's just me. I mean, I'm mulliganing to seven. Okay. Sure, it works by me. All right. I'm good when you are, my friend. Yeah, there was a moment when I was thinking this would be cute. Since you told me you didn't have a creature, I was debating maybe keeping that hand. But if you hadn't told me that, it wouldn't even be a debate, so I need to shove it. I need to throw it down. <laughs> throw it out. Can it. Right. Let's try this again. Well... <laughs> Okay. I mean, right. I mean I sure. I saw Pete. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're we both in the same kind of state here, I guess. It's better than an average six. It's at least keepable. Mine so. is sort of kind of keepable, really. Uh oh. Uh, um. I'll. Uh, oh. Uh, well. Uh, uh. You good? Right. Yeah. So we'll go Verdant Catacombs. Crack it. Go to nineteen. Get a bayou, and then play a wirewood symbiote. All right. And then I'll pass the turn. Here, I'll, I'll play it. Then oh, yeah, you get that guy. Draw. More tropical island. Mm -hmm. Tap into double heart. Okay. Or I respect her. I mean, I don't know the rest of your hand. It could go either way. As to which one's better right here. Your turn. When is the right time? To glimpse of nature. Why virtual rangers instead of like another mana creature? It's, it gives you the ability to make any color, and if you have two, then it converts them into one mana. It's not as efficient as Heritage Druid, but sometimes you don't have three, you only have two. So it, it matters every now and then. Plus, I've seen the morph come up one time. <laughs> it gets you around Chalice of the Void. Yeah. It's cute when it happens, but it's not a real thing. Wooded Foothills? Mm -hmm. 
Kyrian Ranger? I'm saying Kyrian. I think it's a K. I mean, like, pronounced like a K, but Kyrian. I'm not sure. Kyrian, Kyrian. Yeah, Quarian, Quirian, Kyrian? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Quir, like Queen? Not that it matters, but whatever. <laughs> um, pass turn. Tropical. Mm-hmm. Glistener Elf. Man. Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch. There we go. Swing for two. Block. Okay. Alright, before uh, we can move to damage, I'll use a wire with symbiote oh, okay. to bounce it back to hand. Okay. Turns it around to remind myself I've used it this turn, but it doesn't matter. It's just a good habit to get into. Yeah. So, I, I can fog it, sort of. Yeah. Uh, you're good. Alright. I'll fetch. Go and get a Dryad Arbor. That was the alternative. I thought about Dryad Arbor to trade. Well, it wouldn't trade because it's a noble, so it was a good thing I caught that. <laughs> Mistakes were almost made. T1 Glistener. You'd have to trade both of them, though. though. I was hoping that's what you would do, but... Mm. Not worth it. Especially with another Glistener Elf already yeah, on Yeah, that's why. Whatever that card is... <laughs> Hope it's good. It's it's good. I'll take it. Is Lenore all still played in Legacy like Elves? Is what still played? Lenore. Mm. That's a good question. I don't see it, but I would not be surprised if someone runs Lenore or Mystic or Finhorn or some combination. I would not be surprised. I do not. I have like the two Birch Lord Rangers. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's the right way to do it. As a, as someone who has picked up the deck and dipped my feet into the water, I could very well be wrong. But yeah, I was uh, playing against Chase. Me and Chase were playing. I was playing this deck, and then he was playing Legacy Merfolk. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I had a guy who mained Legacy Elves uh, next to me, and I didn't know that. Oh, okay. But he was like, I don't know, his, he wasn't like making noises, like, but you could tell it was like kind of hard for him to watch me play with it, because I was not playing it well. Um, and then the I'm second sorry, game, he started giving have me tips. Just a quick moment to, yeah. uh, to think this through. Yeah, sorry. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I think now is a good time. The deck requires a lot of thinking. Yeah. Especially if you're new to it, like Glimpse me. Of Glimpse of nature. I use a dice to keep track of my mana if you want a dice sometime. Okay. I appreciate that. Uh, Kyrian Ranger, draw a card. Now you're at the mana. Hmm? Deathrite Shaman, draw a card. Oh. Does Dryad Arbor count as for Glimpse? I have to actually cast it, I believe, is how it's worded. I can't just put it on the field. Okay. I believe. However you play it. Yeah, you have, you have to cast so Dryad Arbor doesn't Okay. Run. It's using the old wording whenever you play a creature, which, yeah. you know, presumably is cast. But uh, Horde of Notions is an exception to that, so I try to be careful. Okay. I think I'll lose next turn. I, I guess that was just a value glimpse. I wasn't sure if I could have waited another turn, just to be sure. I, I mean, will pass the turn. If got you to a natural order, then it's a good glimpse. Yes. Draw. Uh, you have damage to target opponent, equal, er, to opponent for equal to the number of battles. One sweat. Okay. Well, no, I won't have the mana. I, it costs There's one basic so forest in there, and you have one savanna, but no main board. Things that you swipe. Nine times ten. Yeah. There's 
I was uh, when I put in the swords. I was like, is Noble Heart the only card that works with that? Because that's probably no. not the best. <laughs> but I saw some of that. Like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Just as a one of, I I love me some Bant. Rest in peace is super good in some matches, and Swords to Plowshares is more general than uh, Submerge, which is what I have been running. It only works against decks with Forest, after all. Mm. Yeah. Which is fine. When it works, it really works. Delver, for instance, if they have Trops. Yeah, that's the one that'll untap a creature if I bounce a Forest. So let's see. So you could... Oh. I can fog one creature. I can't. Yeah, you can. That's not a tap guy. Yeah. No. Yeah, just once each turn, I'm afraid. And it's summoning six, so can't make mana yet. Or whatever. Oh. Can't tell. Um, my little one mana planeswalker over here. Third glistener. I, w I hope that doesn't hit us with a copyright strike. Third <laughs> glistener. Yeah. Yikesy, yikesy. Yeah. Maybe it's light in the background. Mm. Come at me, bro. No blocks. No blocks. Um, it's one, two. Yeah, no exalted. Show me double invigorate. <laughs> Mm. Okay, you're gonna take two. Yeah, through the wrong card. Take two? Yeah. Cool. Crazy. I guess I got one. And you're good. Yeah. Alright. No blocks because I wanna <laughs> keep all my creatures out because. He's going to crater hook the thing. I'm gonna try, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. It needs natural order. You've got the right mana, I think. No, you don't. You need one more. Which, if you have a land, there it is. Uh, huh. Okay. Also, become immense could be a thing. <coughs> Death right could start the land. Yeah. For good doubt. Okay. Okay. Exile your windswept heath. Green. Actually, no, no, no. Here we go. This doesn't matter. It's two packs. Draw. Yep. Block that. Gain seven. What'd you use for the minute to XL? Oh, you didn't. It's a tap. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Um, I'm trying to think of what the right way to do this is. It's for to control to its owner's hand. Creature. I drew the seven two one. I was gonna fetch four. I was like, forest, okay. four mana. Ah, oh. you missed one. <laughs> I don't know. All you would need is you have forest there. I don't know. I see a single one that tires off. Okay. So return a forest I control to its owner's hand. 
untap a Deathrite Shaman. I still have four mana. One, two, three, four. Natural order. Results? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I could have, I had a fetch land, I could have fetched for a Dryad Arbor. I couldn't tap the Dryad Arbor for mana. Yeah. But I wanted to sacrifice one that was summoning sick, but I couldn't tap, you know. Yeah. We had a little awkward situation going there. Um, so anyway, get a Crater Hook Behemoth. Trigger. Nine five five five. Rar. Oh, is Dryad Arbor still in the field? No, but it counts itself. <coughs> yeah, with four yeah. creatures, my creatures get plus four plus four. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Oh, five, ten, fifteen, and nine. Yeah. So Twenty-four trample. Oh. Rar. That's, that's what the fox says. Is there any way I can get through this? Oh, pump spell shenanigans. I need four. Pump city. I need five, right? Five. Help. One, two. If I do, then I'll lose. Yeah, two berserk, it's over. It's hoping to get like a cheeky, like just all I just need one pump spell or like a blighted or a uh, unblockable guy. Yeah. All good. <gasps> so probably bring in the other force of will. Yeah. So there's some matches where the fourth one isn't so hot. This is one of those matches where it can really make a difference. Yeah. I can win through force of will, but it keeps me from having a super combo turn. All right. I'm going first. That's it. Here we go. I'll keep. Two guys cradles, but no other lands. <laughs> Three wire wits. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, well, I don't think you, uh... Yeah. Huh. Trying to count his calories. No. Trying to stack your deck, Jay? <laughs> In the worst possible way. <laughs> so you said you were keeping, right? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what six can do. Just stay with seven. No, it's fine. If, if we were both staying at, or if we were both mulliganing, maybe, but I mean, you know, if I'm going, if you're not going down, I'll go down. It's a hand. I'll keep. Aha. Aha. Okay. You're um, up. Tropical. Glistener. Cool. That's the thing. Take two. Mm hmm. Good taxing pro. So the hand is one, and I'll play revealed. Two, three. These are Malayans. Mm -hmm. Double Green oh. Sun Zenith, <laughs> Nettle Sentinel. Uh. So, uh, I like this hand. It's If I'm going to get a six card hand, I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. Green Sun's into cards you need. Yep. Guy's Cradle works with Dryad Arbor. Yep. Okay, I understand. Alright. card. And you're good. All right, I'm gonna turn it my way though. Oh, yeah. All right. Obvious fetch is obvious. <laughs> we'll go and get forest. Uh huh. We'll get a bayou. Do you have two dryad arbors? Yes. Why wouldn't you search for a dryad arbor? Because for guys. Greens and zenith. Well, you know what? I might as well. I'm about to. It resolves, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep looking through my deck instead of having to shuffle, present, and then shuffle again. There we go. Okay. And oh, then, that's what. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking you would search for the Jod Arbor. Pass turn. And okay. Draw. 
Misty. Mm-hmm. Pay one. Did uh, uh search for <laughs> how are we gonna do it? Kerplunks. <laughs> what was that? There's a shuffle. <laughs> okay. Do get a second shuffle. Oh. The base of the top card of your deck is now rigged. It is a um, probably a, a third. It's it's probably like a a virtual rangers. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a storm crow. Yeah, right. storm <laughs> stick a storm crow. <laughs> it's the best card of the game. Yeah. Yeah. You can pitch it to force of will. It's not in my deck. <laughs> it's probably a dark ritual, honestly. Yeah. Oh man, that dark ritual known as heritage druid. <laughs> Druid ritual. That'd be cool. Dank ritual. There we go. Dank, Dank ritual. ritual. I like it. Oh, uh, wait. It is. Yeah. Um. I think I win now. Not really. There's a lot. Uh, I'll pay one to brainstorm. Draw three. Put two back. F6. Not not really, but you know. Wait, F6 is I pass priority through the phase? Or? I don't play MTGO. It's not through F6 the phase. F6 is you, it's. Yeah, it is. It is just through the phase. F6 right? is through the entire turn. Okay, never mind then, not F6. <laughs> yeah. Uh, draw three, put two from your hand on top of your library. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's only if you choose to get plus four, plus one. Okay. Alright, what about land grant? Land grant? Yeah, they all get plus four. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Not where I wanted to see, buddy. Alright. Yeah. That, that totally worked out for me. For me? No. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking. Always. When in doubt, more melee. Hmm. My mind is telling me no. I don't know that the camera can hear her back there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then where do we go from there? That's not a. That's not you guys. We're getting you on. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm sorry. I'm a getting. I'm a getting. Who won Z game one? <laughs> Jay, I got it. Jay. Except I've won game two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not yet, though. In fact, Nettle Sentinel? Uh, it's I. I kind of like it. It's so. It's a bit different. I don't like how little Druid? buff spells there are in Legacy. Dried Arbor? But That's the same overall, it's extra like, ones. Like what, Berserk? Yeah, there's Berserk, but you don't have, like, um, my, you don't have Mutagenic, you don't have all of this. You have Invigorate. <laughs> yeah, Invigorate. You have Popper Band. Yeah. Oh, it's Band and Popper? <laughs> it's Band and Popper. Oh, because Glistener Health exists, and yeah. Blighted Agent exists. Yeah, they're um, commons. One swap, sec. Go to 16. Search for... That's a one swept teeth. That's not what I want. Um, fetch for another fetch. <laughs> That's how this works. That's how it works, yeah. And then you fetch until you fetch get all your fetch lines. Yes, Savannah? Ooh, okay. I see a swords in my future. No, you don't. Mm. I wonder if I can kill you. This is not the I think sword it's right enough. How many creatures do you have on the field? Four. Four? With Three that can block. Three, you have four. Health blocked. Okay. 
I'm going to think about this for a little bit. Take your time. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Um, so, invigorate. You okay. gain three life. Oh. Plus four, plus four, so it's a five, five. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get some junk on this. Um, going to pay the savannah and the tropical island. Vines of asteroid. Kicked. Five, six. No more targeting that in my future. Let's see, five plus four. Nine. So it's nine. Seven, eight, nine, three. And dessert. Swing it. We're not even going to do it in response to blocks or anything. We're just going to do it now. All right, there we go, bro. Game three coming on up. I like it. In fact, uh, what's it gonna? There we go. Your deck can do it. When you go to sideboards, you side in the Force of Will and Mind Break Trap, and then you have a just shy of 50% chance of a given hand having something that closes the game. It keeps them from winning. You still have to time it correctly and all that jazz, but you know, it's not so bad. And plus, Bluster Storm is good against them, and Spell Pierce. And stifle. You ha you have answers. Don't worry. How does mind break trap help? It just exiles all the spells off the stack. Uh, off the stack? Yeah. Okay. I think it's exile any number, not all of it. Any number, something like that. Yeah. I think it gives you the choice. Just exile all. Yeah, I'll be on the play. Keep. Excuse me. You good, dude? Morgan. Ooh. Yikes. <coughs> oh no! <coughs> Mr. Bill! <laughs> Two berserks. Right. Not, not the way I want to start. So I'm going to flip the screen around, show the camera what I have going on. This is a lot of fun. I mean, look at this. And then you guys. So obvious turn one play is obvious. Turn one, symbiote. Turn two, nettle, sentinel, nettle, sentinel. Oh man, we need a druid in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, did you put? You have heritage druids in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, oh, druid. Turn one, and then two turn nettles. Two signals. nettles. Insert mana here. Yeah. That's what I like the modern. Yeah, yeah, we're about to start game three. Oh, okay. I like the modern version of Elves because it's so. I have like the full combo list. Yep. And not the like toolbox kind of thing going on. So I just combo off with uh, the full width collected. Yep. With the uh, Shaman of Effect and just deal 20 to you through a Shaman of Effect. Ta da! Usually. A friend of mine back in Athens who plays Legacy, he has one Shaman in the pack in his Legacy deck. Why are with Symbiote Shaman for a lot of the fair decks when you just can't combo off? Yeah. You just keep, you know, doing that until they die. That's it? Uh, I'll keep. Alright. And that's six you got? Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's okay. Just like shuffle one back and we'll. It's the bottom one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, it's not like it's a sanctioned uh, game or anything. <laughs> <laughs> kind of needed that one too. Oh well. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Never mind. Oh. Oh my God! I didn't see it, Jay. Boy. Boy. That was so anyway. used to never having to mulligan because I've played a control deck. Yeah. That'll do oh, it. I'm sorry. You're good, man. Oh, sorry, I play man. that like a control. Well, I play that like a whatever <laughs> the deck needs to be. Um. Oh wait, I lost her. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I do a lot of things for money. So, yep. Ready? Mm -hmm. Birding catacombs. Fetch. You know what I, money? Mm. I think I'm lose. <laughs> you seem very confident about your hand. Maybe. Bring it. We get a forest. Do what they say if it works. I was thinking of having that uh, the mill deck I built, the mono blue, or no, it's blue black mill in, in modern? modern, 
Okay. And I had four. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's like, Glimpse the Unthinkable. No. The ten. Yeah, that's in there, but it's um, it calls zero mana if an opponent searched their archive trap. Archive trap have four of those in there, and just getting a game where you get all four in your deck. Yep. And if they fetch for a land, fifty two puts their deck exactly at uh, four times thirteen. Yep. Which is a turn zero kill. Death Rage Shaman. Okay. Yeah, well, if it happens, especially if it happens on camera, it's a No. That's. Just draw your card. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Just, just, we've already. Oh my god. Alright, I don't understand. How many cards do you have in your hand now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you've drawn your card. Go. Yes, I scryed. I had a scry, Jay. It's not what I wanted. We. Already. We passed that no way. Your turn. What do you mean? I didn't scry before. Yeah, well, you also had seven didn't randomly put a card back from your hands. And you could say that things are getting serious. That was random. You just took the bottom one. It wasn't like shuffle and somebody else picks or, or roll dice or something. I think it was like land on it. You got all five pieces of Exodia in your hand, what? Exodia! That's pretty much for Belcher. Yeah. Obliterate. We had two for a while. I should just write, like, on, on all the, the inner sleeve of Belcher, just like the left arm, the right arm, and just like start piecing them together on the board. <laughs> I thought your turn. Oh wait, that was your turn one, obvious one. Uh -huh. Exiling the verdant. Mm -hmm. Um is always Gta. Pass turn. Okay, I, I take it back. That's the original Planeswalker. Deathrite Shaman. Why? I have two Planeswalkers in my deck. <laughs> Translation, don't let me connect with that. Yeah. Pass turn. Until we keep draw. Tropical. Lighted. Lighted agent, okay. And, um, listener. Yep. There we go. All right. I did get pro already. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let me read this thing one more time. Plus two, plus two, not a big deal. Tart creature gets minus one, minus. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a that's yeah. the thing. Why are we at Symbiote? I think 15 is from last. Oh, so I'm at 17. Okay. I know that it's up there. I'm going to play. Green, black, splashing, white for the service holes. Beautiful strips. So, two, uh, one, two, three. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You go to. Two, one floating. Combat. Hiya. Swing one. Block. Okay. We'll trade. Two counters. Uh, you're tapped out. Oh, wait, what? Does combat damage. You knock combat damage to a player. Wait, so how am I supposed to not let that come out? There's no way to not. Not really. Just destroy it with something like Cross and Grip or. Yeah. I guess binds of vast wood to keep it from equipping my creature, but I lose. We'll roll a counter off to kill the blighted agent. We'll roll a counter off to kill the noble hierarch. Yeah. So it's a sideboard card. It just showed up. 
Yeah, I thought it had to deal damage to me. No, it's it's a stupid, no stupid card. way to stop it. Okay. It would still be legacy playable, I think, if it had to connect to a player. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I, that's my inclination. But I could be wrong. So one GT, four abrupt decays, and a single copy of Leovold, emissary of trust. I don't like days in this deck. It's probably good in this match, but I can pretty if if you're on the play, Days is generally pretty bad on the draw. But when you get to play a land before they do, Days is pretty sick. So I, as a general rule in most decks, I cite it out if I'm on the draw. Uh, and then for cards, I cited out one creator of Behemoth for the Leovold. Still had one in the deck. Um, Two natural orders, still two in the deck. Playing against Force of Will, natural order is not oh, as good. Great, yeah. And then Heritage Druid, it's redundant. Bursal Ranger, it's redundant. Carrion Ranger, it's semi redundant. Um, so, this is how I did Just to find more ways to kill your creatures yeah. makes you have to have Vines of Asplod or your creature dies. Um, it also doesn't hit Ink Moth Nexus, though, but Ink Moth is pretty slow against this deck. I'm usually not too worried about it. Usually. Um, that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And uh, what did you side out, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, you cited these out? Or uh, these were in the deck. These were in the deck? Yeah, this is my sideboard. Did you do any siding? Okay, so days obviously. And no, I think I just I shuffled around like a fort. I put a force of will, and I had the three days, and I put in a spell force. Oh, fair enough. But I like the. I think I like this better than the extra whatever was in here. I don't know what was in here, but. Well, the extra days, I like the force of the last of the days.